You're looking at a video of mine on Tuesday. What is happening? Well, at the day of recording, uh, I have finally started hormone replacement therapy or HRT and I've been on HRT for four days. I got a lot of support from these HRT update videos that I saw from other transgen transgender people. I figured I want to do my own, give my own unique perspective on this whole HRT thing. What's happening? How am I feeling? What do I feel? And what are the meds I'm actually on? So when you're seeing this, I've been on HRT for a week. And to be honest, it's been quite something. Um, but before we get into that, let's have a look at the meds that I'm taking. The first med I'm taking is called Colocalciferol. Colocalciferol is a um, vitamin D supplement. Why a vitamin D supplement, I can hear you ask? Well, according to my uh, blood works and blood tests, it showed that I had a vitamin D deficiency, which is totally normal for people living in the country where I live. 80% uh, of the population has it because we have a little bit more, a little bit less of sunshine. Um, and I have to take this to get those vitamins D's up because those are good for the bones. And starting on HRT, especially trans feminine HRT, is, uh, can lead to uh, lesser dense bones, which is a problem. So that's that one. And it's actually, the, 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 it, it, yeah. Nothing special. I have to take those once a week for a year and then get my blood works done again. The second one I'm taking, and this is the one that most people who are thinking they might be transgender or into the transgender community know as the little blue pill, is estradiol. And estradiol, I take two milligrams, two times a day, sublingual, which means I have to put it under my thumb, under my tongue, and they look like these. These are the same medications that is used for treating, uh, for helping women who are in menopause. Uh, but for me, it's not for menopause. For me, it's to actually help me get my estrogen levels up. Uh, what is taking something sublingual? Well, if you take something sublingual, you put it under your tongue and you let it melt and dissolve there. Why? Because taking something sublingual actually makes sure that the entire content of the hormones gets into your bloodstream uh, because if you swallow it it has to go through your digestive system and the acid in your stomach will actually break it down a lot and uh, hence you get less estrogen in your bloodstream this is something i do on the advice of my endo um, the endo is a hormone doctor put simply um, and there is a third thing I'm taking. And I can't show you that because I already used it. It's a shot. I have to take once a month. And I have to take a little piece of my belly and insert the shot there. And that's a testosterone blocker that works for a month. And I have to mix that up myself. I might film that at some point to show you how that works because it's, it's quite a big package for a tiny thing. Hi. Where was I? Uh, shot. Yeah, I might actually show you guys uh, me preparing the shot because it's quite a big package for a tiny shot. Um, but the reason that I chose for the shot instead of the uh, well-known uh, pills, uh, because the pills apparently have a side effect and it's only in 1% of the people who take them that uh, there is an increased risk of brain cancer. And I have a safer option here. So I'm gonna go for the safer option. It doesn't cost me anything extra because it's all insured. Also, the fun thing about it is I have to do it once a month and not transgender girls also have a thing happening once a month. So I figured uh, it's kind of symbolic. It's kind of fun. I don't know. It's stupid, but I like it. Okay. What have I been noticing in these past four days? Well, day one uh, gave me a lot of headaches. And I was very woozy, which is, which can be, which is normal, I think. I mean, I get a bunch of new hormones in my system. A bunch of my old ones won't work. My body won't know what to do. It's like you put a different kind of gasoline in a car and the car gets a shock and doesn't know how to handle it. Yes, I did just compare myself to a car there for a moment. Very proud of that. Second day really wasn't that much special. I was feeling a little bit better, still had a little bit of headaches. Third day, however, oh 
my god. I had a heat flash. I don't know what those are. I thought I was dying for a moment there. There I was, after a decent day of work. I sat behind my computer and all of a sudden, my, I got red in my head. I felt hot, like actually the temperature. And I was sitting there fighting like, what is happening? Am I getting sick? Am I dying? What's going on? I don't know. And then I realized this is a hot flash. My hormones are kicking in. I've been feeling hot for the entire evening. I had a terrible night's sleep and when I woke up, I was bathing in sweat. They are a weird thing. And if somebody says they're having a hot flash, please be compassionate about them. I know now how it feels. It's not fun. Still was very gender affirming at that point. So that was fun for me, but still take it seriously, people. And today is day four and day four so far has been easy. Nothing special has happened. The only thing that I have been noticing is that I have a decreased appetite, which is good because if I still ate the same amount as I did when I was still running on testosterone instead of E, I would have gained a lot of weight because your metabolism slows down on E. Um, and the downstairs thing isn't really functional anymore, which I like because I don't like it being active in the morning, if you know what I mean. So yeah. All in all, that was my first week on estrogen. And I will try and do an update every two weeks and tell you guys what's happening and how I'm feeling. See you back in the next video. Bye bye.